Hey, this is Lachlan with Digital Crafts in Atlanta. And these are my tips for people who are starting a coding bootcamp. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you understand what you're taking on. Uh, boot camps are very time intensive. Uh, so you need to prepare your time well. And that can be uh, just a matter of, of blocking out time on your calendar, obviously for class time, but then also for uh, homework and extracurricular activities and research. And you, you might want to warn your family as well, your family and friends, just to make sure that they are respectful of the time. Um, they understand what you're committing to so that they can um, leave you alone in the times that you need to focus. The next thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you prepare before class. At Digital Crafts, we give out pre-work, uh, which is not mandatory, but it is uh, strongly recommended that you do complete that. Uh, it's going to give you just that extra level up in making sure that you understand the core concepts of what we are going to cover. Uh, and if, they, if your coding bootcamp does not give you that, then it's a great idea to go and research their curriculum yourself and to cover off those particular pieces. The third thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you know how to learn. This does seem like a little bit of a strange one, but there are some extra things that you can do to make sure that you're ready to learn. That being practice memory tools like spaced repetition or learn how to create memory palaces and things like that. Uh, this is just going to give you the added benefit of being able to store and retain information quickly as it is going to come in hard and fast. The other thing you're going to want to do around learning is to learn how to break problems down. So take a larger problem and break it down into smaller chunks. Take those small chunks and break them down into even smaller pieces. This is going to take you uh, a long way in making sure that you know how to tackle larger problems. And fundamentally, that's what computer programming is all about, is taking a problem, breaking it down and solving it bit by bit. The fourth thing that you're going to want to do is to not be shy. This is more one that you're going to want to do when you actually start class, but asking questions, partnering up and helping other students are great benefits to being in a classroom with other students. Asking questions does two things. First of all, it can clarify your understanding. Even if you know what the answer is, being able to state a question and have that confirmation stated back to you is a great way to solidify your understanding on a particular topic. The other thing is that even if you, if you don't know the answer to the question, if you have that question, chances are that one of your other classmates also has that question. It helps them by being forward and asking that question that they may be too shy to ask. When you have a classmate who is struggling with a particular problem, offer to help them, particularly if you do know it, because another thing that can help embed your knowledge is to present it to someone else. The last thing on my list at number five is to remember that you don't know what you don't know. There's no point going into a conversation thinking that you know the most about everything because there's always going to be something that you don't know. Leave your ego at the door. Everyone is going to be coming in at different levels and there's no benefit to being egotistical. The other, on the other end of that spectrum is this is going to be a lot to learn but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be here. There's always going to be an opportunity to learn something else. And even when you get out of the coding bootcamp, you're still going to be learning more in your career. Hopefully you found that useful. Stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you follow us on social media and keep up with our blog. And thanks for watching.